But again, if green can fo oh my god, look at all the rockets. There's so many. But if green can re- what the fu- why is everyone shooting all the rockets? Hello everyone, this is Grayshaw17, and today I'm covering a 4v4 on the map Essen Steelworks. We got ourselves a number of key combatants, being ourselves three Soviet and a Brit, versus three Austere and a OKW player on, of course, Essen Steelworks. Kind of mid on this map, I know some people really enjoy it, that's great, I'm not one of them, I, I think it's fine. Um, but anyway, we're, the reason I think it's just because the... It's, I don't know. To me, it feels weird to have so much territory you're not really going to fight in. Um, we're really... The, the most of the confrontation's here, not really over here. And over here, kind of as well. It's just like, cool, it's there. It, I don't know. It doesn't it, it doesn't utilize, I guess, everything as well as I would have liked. Um, in terms of having such a big map with lanes, it feels more constricted than it actually looks. But uh, anyway... The good news about that, at least for the Allies, is that they can bring the Axis to them because this building is pretty much the lifeline to any sort of Allied advance in this sector. Or, in, the, in this case, the Axis holding onto this territory. Now, luckily, the Sturm Pioneers excel close range, and with the Kubel support, the infantry section is quickly losing a lot of health uh, and will need to retreat. Oh, great shot from behind, though. Vicar is absolutely tearing that Kubel apart. So great job there. Who tore who apart? Well, let's get to it. Blue. Oh, Auden? Auden, I think? Uh, uh, oh, God. Auden Co? I'll say OD. Wingdu, Uncle. Uh, we got Hold the Line. Oliveira, Mako, and Moon. All right. Vickers Machine Gun hitting the Sturm. FG Section trying to take the territory, realizing that is a bad idea, and pulling back. Mortar is there trying to assist. And right now on the far left-hand side, we have Assault Op. Really? Look, two of them? You went with two. So oh my god, no. This isn't Co3. Alright, this is not Co3. Askrens are still ass. I'm sorry. In this game. In the another game, they're, you know, as close range troops, they're fantastic. Right? I had a bias towards them, and I've seen them do great things in Co3, uh, all things considered. But, really? We're, we're just, we're seeing a lot of ass spam, really? A lot of ass grand spam? Okay, okay. Listen, that's all great and dandy, but we know what the Soviet has, uh, penals, and we know the fact that you have now uh, infantry with no AT capabilities, so we'll see how that goes. Are you going to throw a satchel? Uh, nice cutoff, though. I'll give you that. I will give you that. Nice job stopping him from getting in the building. Alas, uh, he didn't throw the satchel, so uh, I highly recommend leaving the building now. Alright, well, uh, luckily the MG didn't take really much damage. Uh, the building, on the other hand, um, maybe, maybe a little bit. Maybe, maybe just a little bit. Alright. Uh, anyway, uh, luckily the assault officer does manage to push the enemy back. At the very least, it seems like. Okay, good job with the MG suppressing the uh, Askred. Now the Soviets, uh, in full can maybe counterattack. But yes, yeah, so anyway, you get, with Strategic Reserve, you get Assault Grenadiers, but you also get the Tigres. Not saying the Tigres is bad at all. You can definitely, you know, use it to a very high level, and hopefully, you know, it can be very good, especially because the law of the, uh, the worst buff, uh, look, I know in 1v1, the, like, gray shot, it was overpowered. Yeah, but in 4v4 and 3v3, it was, it was, it was a coaster. It was... A paperweight. It was not good to deploy. It would kill your army if you deployed it. So, they they fixed it, thank God. And uh, now it's actually viable in 3v3 and 4v4. It's, 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 like I said, it's, a, it's amazing how a unit can be different depending on how many people there are. It's astounding. Anyway, um, so, uh, Penal's trying to find targets. Assault Grand is pushing on in with MG backing them up. Right hand side, again, Axe is having a little more of an issue. Mortar opening fire. Although this mortar is uh, pretty damn low, honestly. Now it's dead. You probably should have pulled that sucker back. Uh, penals. It seems like penals are the go-to right now across the entire front. We also have partisans hiding behind the lines. Uh, which is hilarious because they are seeing this whole fight going. We could help you, sir, but, you know. We're, we, you know, 
You're you're fine. You got this. We're fighting armor. I do like how they got in the building, and now the penals forced back the grenadier. So overall, it is not. Wait, flamethrower, come on, burn them. There we go. It's not looking great for the Germans across the front. Seems like the Soviets and the Brit are doing a very good job at beating the crud out of them. At least for this initial engagement, right? That can absolutely change once we get to see like a 2-2-2 two, two, two or something like that. But because they all of them have uh, penals, every one of them has a form of a T. Which, speaking of which, hold the line is getting right now. So they have a light vehicle counter. So this 2-2-2, two, 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 you're like, ah, great shot. Just just watch. This is going to be the greatest count. We're going to easily destroy all these people. No, you're not. They're, they are the They are the boys for Co2. Uh, not nearly as damaging or as, you know, annoying. Unless you get close, then they throw satchels. Then it's horrifying. Um, salt Grenadiers going on in. Some with, uh, very low health and losing a few men. Uh, grenades being thrown. Get out of there. Oh, did not get out in time. Yeah, that was, a that was a bad move on your part. You should have run. Like, I know penals are expendable, but they're not that expendable. Or they're not expendable. He lives. Alright. A little shocked by that. We have the assault officer on the right. Oh, wow. He's actually making forward base as well. Why are you building that? It's actually, you know what? That's not a bad idea. The brush at least pre prevents it from being seen initially for recon and other things. As well as you don't have a clear line of sight for armor trying to hit it. You have to go around. Not terrible. I actually really like that location. Um, they're pulling back to heal. NG and mortar still holding the front. Uh, looks like the partisan unit kind of got revealed. And penals on the right. Still holding, but still taking a number of hits. So allies, again, still holding the lead for now. Uh, we'll see how long that lasts as the Germans take over mid with their assault grenadiers. Ah, 2-2-2. Two, two, two. I'm glad you lived a long and prosperous life. Just awesome stuff there. Ah, and the partisan. Ah, uh, I see he, he took part of this. It's like, guys, nobody tell the Germans I did this. Oh, you're, you're, sir, you're clipping. Uh, your, your clip? No? Alright, I guess he doesn't mind. Yeah, but he, he has a bit of a hole in his chest, so he might be focused on that. But anyway, right now, Pioneers are engaging the Royal uh, Recovery Squads. Not bad. I'm oh, sorry, the Royal Engineer Recovery Teams. And they're doing okay. The, the, the fact that British held on for that long is actually astounding. Commander-wise, I haven't really gone into that beyond the curious things that the Germans doing uh, the, sorry the curious things the Germans did uh, firestorm doctrine that's why you have the stern pioneer with a flamethrower um, again not bad again good fr uh, some frontline abilities we're usually close to range stuff with the mp40s on the bolts but also just fire lots of fire and direct strikes so not bad at all really like the support guns though with fire that's that that's what really seals the deal especially against the Brits um, allied wise we have mobile assault so if you like artillery matchers coming on up along with those commandos uh, which we have yet to see but we also have those uh, engineer squads which are always nice to have um, oh my god do you really have double what the hell am I looking at guys we're gonna put two Shreks in this half track it's gonna work out I promise sir uh, I don't think it worked out MG suppressing the penals uh, Partis is trying to go for a final kill, but 222 was, was not snared, so it's just going to back up as quickly as possible. Speaking of backing up, so it was the half track. Uh, not a terrible idea, I just find it funny. The fact that he tried to use Partisans with Shreks. Uh, speaking of uh, trucks on the front, Obo Blitz truck coming in because of, again, uh, fire, uh, do yeah, Firestorm Doctrine. It's not that expensive, all things considered, but it can reinforce and it provides some nice assistance. <laughs> uh, anyway, MG trying to hold, but there's too much firepower. Just retreat. On the left-hand side, uh, another half-track. Did he just throw a satchel on himself? Yes, I'm not the only one who does that. There are others who also threw satchels on themselves. Uh, speak. We have a... Why the... F okay. First, another 2-2-2 two, two, two dead. Second... Why did a assault grenadier pick up? Wait, did he pick up two? No, he picked up one. But he still picked up a PTRS rifle. Why would you do that? Why? Uh, okay. Look, I'm not saying PTRS rifles are kind of worthless. 
for some units, but I, 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 if, if I can, if I, my penals drop one, I'm actually fine with it because I increase their anti-infantry damage. I'm not someone who's like, man, I can't wait to get three penals with PTRS rifles and open fire on armor. It's like, no, no, you don't, you don't do that. SU-85s or so, even SU-76s will do more consistently. Or a ZIS gun. Just get a ZIS gun. Uh, the only reason you get them with the, the uh, penals is for the satchel ability, at least in my opinion. I love the satchel because it absolutely tears tigers and other large armored vehicles apart. Panthers as well. Anything that you can get behind your lines and you can snare. Uh, speaking of behind enemy lines, uh, OD is managing to burn the MG to death with all the flamethrowers. Uh, another MG stepping up the bat. Will he also die? We shall see. Conscripts at least up the seven-man squads. And uh, Oliveira is at least getting a Katusha. Additional armor, again, we have, oh my god. Mine stops some of the Assault Grandiers, others push on through. Uh, still running right at the enemy. Again, Flamethrower versus Flamethrower right now. And if you're in a building, it's super effective. No AT to stop this penal uh, force in the half-tracks. Again, you only have so many men in the back. If all 12 men were firing out the back of this half-track, then it would be a pog moment. There's only really, you know, there's not that. That's not happening. So it's it's less pod. But at the very least, half track is mobile and can maybe help kill this. Okay, they kill one squad. That that's pretty good. I'll give them credit. Now, uh, while things are going okay on the left and now mid with them taking it, on the right the Germans have pretty much taken over everything. They got themselves a Puma, another T22. Just pretty much cleared out the Soviet and British forces. Uh, partisans are now having to uh, lie in wait to hopefully ambush the armor, which is not a terrible idea, all things considered. Maybe some mines. We have the resources. Half track as well can do damage against that light armor, but especially with the Puma, you really, really want to have support with it. And now, if I'm this German player, I would most likely try to lock down this territory. I wouldn't necessarily push up because I have all this great uh, amount of resources that I need to, you know, get. Uh, you know, uh, additional defenses to hold and also to protect as well as not overextend myself to where I lose all of it. 222 moved to mid, immediately got mowed down. Again, coming in piecemeal is great for this thing. So I have track using suppression. Who am I trying to get a, a shot, but he's not focusing armor. And luckily the terrain takes the hit instead of the armor unit. So. Oh my god. Are you still... I love it. Guys, we're going to advance ahead of the Puma. Uh, sir, he's suppressing us. Don't worry, we'll have the Puma engage. Where's the Puma? Oh, the Puma... Oh, my lord. That was a hell of a shot. Good shot with that T-3476. But, uh, yeah, it's it's still in the back, kind of just chilling. So, yeah, uh, Wingdu's entire offensive kind of just fell apart a little bit. Luckily, Cromwell's on the front, uh, and with supporting the half-track. So, at least the, you know... They can suppress the infantry and fight the Puma quite effectively. The Puma can definitely get some good shots, I'm not going to lie. Shrek team opens fire. It's absolutely going to die here if it doesn't retreat. Like, I know you want shots, but you may want to live. Because it's a lot of resources for the unit and, of course, the upgrade itself. Man, this guy with the half-track doing a damn good job. But the AA, the AA quad mount... Uh, at least has some AT component with the Shrek teams. Alright. Also, I love how the Penal has a flamethrower. Guys, we're going back to original Co2 days where Penals had flamethrowers. And that was what they got. And everyone's like, why would I get this unit? It sucks. So, anyway. Well, I wouldn't say it sucks. It just wasn't... It just didn't make sense in a lot of ways to get that unit. Um... But, hey, that's just me. Because, again, if you want, like, something to snare, you get conscript. And for cost and re reinforcement, yeah, it made more sense to get a conscript. Uh, T-34 fighting the Panzer IV. Panzer IV absolutely has advantage on that fight. Um, buddy, I... Oh, wow, he bounced. I'm actually shocked. Holy... Wait, hold on. T-34 winning this engagement? Hold on. T-34 can win the day? Is is that possible? Is is that is that potential? I mean now that the uh Zis gun's up here, that's a possibility.
Let's see. Sorry, guys. Just something popped up on my phone. <laughs> anyway. Let's see. MG guarding the territory. Pans before it pulls back. Assault Grenadiers uh, pulling away. Again, I don't know why you got the PTRS rifle here. It seems like a really bad idea. Anyway, uh, forces pushing against the Soviet counterattack. Re again, really surprised they didn't have mines or something here. An S minefield or something. But luckily the Grandiers have some good veterans. So they're able to mow down the enemy pretty effectively. Katusha opening fire. Drives them away. More suppression hitting the line. Oh my god, half track run. Oh wait, into a Soviet mine! Oh come on, Panzer IV. Follow it. Come on, Uncle. Cry, Uncle. Damn it. Uh. Keep running. Don't stop running. You. You need to run. You now you can see them. Oh wait, nope. Yeah. Partisans moving on in with the Shreks. Again, they don't have two Shreks, so it's not as great. Uh, Pachi, uh, I don't know when we're getting new stuff for Co. 3, honestly. Hold on, but I do know that this, the Panzer IV is like, all right, I, I trouble before, let me get a buddy. T-34 is like, well, guess what? I brought my best buddy too. Uh, and a Zis gun. So take that. Also take the shot. Wow, oh my God, and the PTRS rifles are firing. Hold on, this actually might be a pog move. Because they have, well, okay, they do have one AT a unit, but the, uh, the the blob is being suppressed. And a Molotov thrown on their face. Incredible. Hold on. Pants Force are moving back in. Zis gun reposition. Come on, T-34s. Heal up. You got this. Half track, move in. Half track, tag in. Oh my god, he's actually going for it. The mad lad. Hold the line is not holding. He's advancing. I mean, is this stupid? Absolutely. Will it work? Hell no. Hold on. Unless he satchels. Go in for the satchel! No! No, all you had to do is run to the right! That's all you had to- Now you're running to the right. All you had to do was run to the right and not get suppressed. And you could have satcheled that Panzer IV. I mean, to be fair, he's gonna run into more armor if he does engage, which isn't great, but still, it could have been so good. Speaking of, uh, good things, um, yeah, a uh, double German attack on the right. We have a, a Suga Barrage. He's actually walking into that. Panzer IV, let's not do friendly fire right now. Uh, Rakadwerfer about to kill that half-track if he's not lucky. Uh, nope, Soviet was not lucky. Hold on, Satchel on the Rakadwerfer! Uh, sends it bye-bye. Uh, we have a Cromwell coming on in. Maybe kill the Blitz truck? Alright, well, at least you got that. It, it, or the S-85 did. Someone did. Problem is all the infantry and also the recruiting of the Rakan Warfare. That's, that's currently the biggest problem. Yeah. The right side has completely collapsed. Uh, Mako and Mu need to kind of think about what to do next. Hey, honestly, a Katusha is not a terrible idea right now. Um, problem is he has, like... I don't know, a few minutes before you can fire that damn thing. Let's see, partisan tactics, uh, hold the line when defensive, So, but again, nothing right now. A, he's using, except for, I think this, yeah, he got the douche gun. Or, he's not, I mean, I guess defenses, but again, he's on the other front. So yeah, uh, they're going to have to fight this in sheer raw firepower. And the the Germans still have armor and stuff over here, so it's not looking Amazing. New Obel Blitz truck to uh, reinforce. Also, he could absolutely salvage uh, the previous one to get a little fuel back. Okay, at least mortar stuff opening fire. Katusha lighting up the front. Almost hits the Obel Blitz truck. Alright, MG repositioning. All right, Cromwell trying to move on in. Rakan for opening fire. Does actually hit. Okay, Volk Squad. What is the goal? I, I guess just pull back. All right. Mines being placed. Not bad. Additional conscripts sent in from the other player. Oh, man. 
Like the Kool-Aid man, he busts through, but unlike the Kool-Aid man, that was he is uh, kind of screwed. Wow, you just got eight. The Piot Force just showing they are way better than the PTRS Force. Just putting down that unit. Uh, Panzer Grenadier Squad being overwhelmed. Uh, grenade almost hitting the, his own, again, friendly fire from the Germans. T-34 does manage to get out of there, it looks like, in one piece. All right. T-34, again, constantly going toe-to-toe -to -toe with those Panzer IVs. Not too shabby. Another T-34 entering the uh, area, engaging the MG rather than anything else. He's like, don't worry, I will save you. Maybe not. Maybe. Guys, I could be wrong here, but maybe he's not going to be saved. Maybe not. Assault uh, Grenadiers moving along the left-hand side. We have Assault Grenadiers actually taking mid. And again, hold on, let me see something. So the Penals with their rifles have actually ac accidentally killed four of themselves, which is hilarious. Uh, I'm actually curious to see how many kills the Assault Grenadiers have. I will check that in a moment once they're done retreating from their rockets. Uh, at least this Soviet at least has the area locked down. They are building bunkers thanks to the Community Defense Commander. On the right hand side, again, at least he knows where the Germans are, so maybe he can fire uh, Katusha Barrage on them. Alas, they are advancing. Yeah, so uh, they he realized it. He heard the shot in the distance and was like, I'm going to move a little bit out of there so I don't die. Blitztruck is the only thing close enough to die, but luckily the spread was not effective enough to actually get that kill. Something just perish? No. Okay. Again, uh, this man has one T-34 against that blob, and I don't think it's going to be enough. He, again, S-285 could snipe it, and Partisans could absolutely hit that double blitz truck. Come on. Just one shot, Partisans. One shot, one kill. You can do it. Do it now. Do it now! Take the shots! Yep, well, I guess he's not going to go for the kill. That would have been awesome if he did. I mean, he's already gotten some things with Partisans. I do like how he's just keeping them back, so the, the, I guess the enemy moves further forward, and then he can move in, maybe. I'm not entirely sure. We do have a mattress on the field. Actually, two of them. So, do they have any kills? No, they don't. Oh, speaking of kills, let's double check. Assault Officer is 14. Uh, sorry, Assault uh, Grandier. So, 14, 3, and 6. Uh, yeah. Oh, man, you got the upgrade for the Assault Officer. Yeah, you're going to be bugged for... Okay. Well, Mattress kind of hits the whole front and manages to not really do all that much. I was expecting more. Okay. Why does that engineer have an MG42? Why is everyone trading weapons? Is this a game of, uh, gun game of Call of Duty? Or just trading weapons to everybody? Anyway, uh, th nothing stopping this blob from just wrecking shop on all this, uh, all this infantry. MG opens fire. Uh, again, we have mine stopping the Panzer IV flank. And it looks like a Panzer IV did die thanks to that T-34. 22 kills! Hot damn. T-34 showing the Germans who's boss. And luckily the British were able... Oh, they're decommissioning the... A, uh, not the, the AT gun for resources. So that's, again, really solid. Why this recovery package that they get is way better than the, the German ones. Direct strike uh, knocks out the building. Uh, Germans manage to kill the double blitz truck. So win there. Um, but still, they did lose this point, and the side is not looking all that sturdy if I am Mako. So, yeah. Uh, at least Moon has something, but even then, he doesn't have any armor. He has tons of fuel. I'll give credit, but he just doesn't have anything. I mean, okay, so we went with the Churchill. Uh, so, I'm sorry, Anvil, so we can get Churchill. Uh, not a terrible idea, as long as you have AT backing it up. But, again, my concern would be the fact we've seen, the Germans have saved up and have gotten themselves some thicker armor. So, Panther, uh, Uncle... Oh, maybe not. Uncle is just getting an Oswind. I mean, I guess he lost everything, so he's not upgrading. So, yeah, if it's versing something more of a medium tier, he's fine. Because, yeah, Oswind, Panzer IV, can't really fight a Churchill. Panther, eh, that's where it starts getting a little dicey. 
All right, but T34 has shown that weaker armor has absolutely gone toe-to-toe -to -toe with something better in one. So, hold the line, and also Oliveira moving on in against Uncle. Uh, his forces pull back because, again, they have no AT. Actually, yeah, I think Uncle should really focus on getting AT before he starts having to scream Uncle because of the fact that he's just being thrashed so hard. Uh, T34, there's a mortar right there. He's like, oh, it's green. That means it's my ally. I've played Code 3. Anyway, T34 backs on up. Conscript's at least trying to move on in and grab the territory back. What is that mine placement? I mean, I get, uh, I guess he took the shot, sure. But, like, the cover would have been more likely you than them. And also, you're on top of the mine still, buddy. MG opening fire. We're gonna... He is playing with Destiny right now. Okay, at least you got out of there before the Panzer IV murdered you with your own mind. Panzer IV pulls back. Is this gun opening fire? Detonating some mines with the Werfer shots around it. Again, Assault Gradiers managing to take mid. I'm not going to deny. They've managed to actually do quite well. Oh, here comes the uh, armor to shove them away. Massive. Oh, wait. Hold on. Panther goes down thanks to the satchel. Again, never underestimate the satchel. S-85 as well, providing some good shots in there. Uh, they're trying to use Shreks. This thing is barely alive, managing to pull back. T-34 about to kill Uncle. Uh, and Wing Du has lost most of his army. So, yeah, I see a Soviet counterattack in the near future. Hopefully they've placed mines, because otherwise the Soviets are going to do a hell of a back uh, counterattack. Well, uh, speaking of counterattack, ladies and gentlemen, we have ourselves a Tiger Ace. Who's already crippled. And once again, I, I shall remind you the fact that we do have a player here with AT Overwatch. So big armor is not going to be quite as effective as he may want it to be. Mattress opening fire on the front, hitting all sorts of stuff. Penal's kind of pulling back, kind of focusing on other things other than, other than these assault grenadiers. They pull back enough, throw grenades, run a little more. Almost hit themselves with their own grenades. Amazing stuff right there. Churchill pulls back, but it's still enough to scare the Germans off with the penals. Hopefully this means that infantry can move up and take mid. Again, MG pulling back. Tiger back up to full health thanks to using emergency, uh, sorry, vehicle crew repairs. Sorry, I thought I was about to say emergency repairs. But yeah, it, it heals all your stuff very quickly. Again, 350 HP is nothing to sneeze at. That's quite fast and quite a lot of HP. Again, at least on the right... Somehow, Wingdu is making do with four units. I don't know how, but he is keeping the Soviets away. Being like, look how massive my army is, even as it runs away. I have this huge army. You better not come over to my territory, mister. I swear, I have this massive army. I will kill you. Please, please stop advancing, sir. Sir, I'm going to ask you politely, stop advancing. Sir, don't make, don't make me use a more serious tone with you. Anyway, uh, Tiger, Panthers are firing, but again, Panthers not the best against infantry uh, if they have decent health. I mean, MG42's help, but still. Tiger Ace is definitely helping, but uh, yeah, it still needs support. Luckily, LEFH is still hitting the back lines and causing the mattresses to lose quite a bit of health. Conscripts, though, about to take the territory. Left hand side, though, at the very least, Soviets placing mines, defenses, and locking the area down. That's good. More artillery coming on in, but luckily misses the giant blob of Soviets uh, that is now approaching mid. Otherwise, that's kind of where the master should have fired, but luckily he's about to be able to fire and maybe just thrash them in mid. That would be great. Come on, mattress. Show me who's boss. Show me what you can... I mean, to be fair, there's also some British mines, but I would rather have the mattress kill a bunch of units. All right, Katusha's just stepping up for the plate. Hitting the whole front. Again, uh, recovery squads have been with Piots. The infantry section don't have... Well, hold on. Yeah, they don't have the five men. So they're not quite as effective as they could be. Here come the T-34s there to scare them off. And now they're being hit by artillery from the other guy. Which might actually kill some of them. 
definitely caused them a lot of damage, I'll say that. Satchel on the Panther. Artillery hitting the front, but Churchill just walking by like, yeah, I have my armor's too thick, it's not gonna do anything to me. Here comes the mattress, the DMG, and the other armor. It does a little bit of damage, not a huge ordeal, but still, it's enough to just keep them revealed so that way maybe you get a nice lucky long shot with the tank destroyer AT gun. Damn, I didn't even realize the Soviets were pushing that far. I mean, to be fair, I'm surprised the Soviets on the right haven't pushed that much. He is near Popcap, and Wingdu is not. Wingdu is somehow holding with, a, like, a fourth of the army that Mako has. And Ma the thing is, Mako knows this. That's that's the surprising part. But I guess he's more determined to fight mid. There, I mean, victory point-wise, the Axis are down considerably compared to the Allies. They're about 120 points down. So, I guess Orange is like, yeah, listen, as long as they put one hand to stop the, you know, uh, scrappy do from attacking me. I can deal with the main threat in mid and support my team. Which, yeah, the S-85 pushes back the Panther. T-34s are pushing on in. Diving the Tiger Ace, but he manages to get the hell out of Dodge. So, he survives the artillery barrage. Got close, but he, he does survive. Tiger Ace manages to get back to base along with Panzer 4, while T-34s, unfortunately, get put down quite, quite quickly. Uh, hold the line is down to a single T-34. He has a couple of infantry units, but again, he himself doesn't have that much. So that's a little concerning. At least I'll say caches are going down, so at least fuel-wise, the Axis... Uh, sorry, the Allies are doing a little bit better. Um, Axis not having much, which... Okay, they have one fuel. But yeah, I would kind of put down some additional caches to help out your team and to, you know, get some more resources for strikes and whatnot. Panther coming on in. Maybe a Faust? Yeah, cripples the T-34. 31 kills on it. This thing has done a lot of work. Oh, man. T-34 tries to go for a crush. Uh, not as effective as he may like, but still, at least he went in for the attempt. And if he pushes up, oh, he'll be fine. It's a teller. All right. Gets a good shot. Penal's pushing back the Grenadier. Another one just walking on in, being like, ah, yes. What's a good armor unit for me, the Satchel? Uh, luckily, Oswin drives him away. King Tiger's on the field. Interesting. Now, again, we have one AT Overwatch, and he doesn't have the resources to keep doing that repeatedly. So, the big thing is, you know, just a unit being, you know, being, if, being Satchel. Don't know why Red ran. I mean, to be fair, luckily he did, because Oswin and King Tiger got some good shots in. Hold on, that's a lot of artillery. And not a lot of targets, but it looks cool for the amount of rockets currently hitting that front. Oh my god, you have three mattresses and nothing protecting it. Yeah, alright, I'm just saying, I, I'm not the biggest fan of salt grade ears, but you deserve this if you have nothing guarding the front. Churchill comes in being like, I guess it's my job to protect it? Good uh, crushes, by the way. Ah, uh, yes, crushes. Where are you in Co 3? Where are you? Anyway, Tiger is being marked. Uh, great job there by the Soviets. Hitting the rear armor consistently. Um, luckily, T-34 does get put down, but he's so low on health. That would be very cautious if I was him. Um, partisans are about to be put down. There's an extra mine there, which might cause issues. Oh, hold on. The Chad Partisan, come on. All right. Partisan. All right, Partisan Force, you got this. All you have to do is kill a King Tiger. That's all you have to do. Now come out the other side. Wait, hold on. King Tiger could murder you in a single shot. Or the Oswind. It was not enough. But next time. Oh, Peter's rifles and conscripts moving on in. One to push back the AT gun, the other one just to dive in as a Hail Mary. Again, with the Oswin, you're not really going to gain much ground, but I don't mind the attempt at all. Up, oh, another Shrek team. Artillery's hitting the front now. Hold up. Oswin could be in some serious trouble, especially with the Satchel. Fingers crossed. Oh, not enough. So close, though. So, Oh, there it goes. I thought the Oswin was going to kill the Partisan, but no. One last Panzer Shrek shot actually does manage to put down the Oswin, and both armored units are still running like hell. 
Again, this is where like a simple dive can kill both, get some lucky shots in the rear. But, uh, or, or, you do a creeping barrage, just saying. But it's uh, too late now. It's a bit too late. Front's being hit. Uh, but, oh, I was going to say mattress is five. No, they didn't. Uh, two of them get put down. The third one's at half health. All right, uh, again, mark target effect. Again, Peter has, uh, penals with Peter's rifles advancing again to drive away the armor. Do we have two, I'm sorry, do we have another Tiger Ace? We do! We have the second Tiger Ace on the field. So, ladies and gentlemen, we have two Tiger Aces. Where's the other one? Uh, oh, he's hiding in the corner. Oh, he's not hiding in the corner. He's off on the side, I should say. But uh, that could be an issue if the uh, sorry if the Soviets weren't just absolutely just slapping every armor attempt to take mid. Now again, there is S-25s here for the Soviets, so at least they you know have a long range AT. They have well, okay, they have one penal, so that might be an issue. If the Soviets can't get exactly field an army anymore, then maybe that gives the Axis attempt uh, sorry time to uh, counterattack. Speaking of which, Tiger Ace and Panther moving on in. Churchill could be in a uh, in for rude awakening here. Dropping smoke. Uh, buddy, it's called direct fire or attack ground. Uh, lots of rockets, not a lot of impact. Uh, say goodbye, Churchill. It's nice knowing you. S 85s coming on in. Grenades thrown. Tiger Ace is trying to get out of there. Close. Panther Force, though, coming on in. Can it save the Tiger Ace? Hold on. Uh, that would be a hell no. But can they at least uh, get revenge? That might be a hell yes. Uh, S-25 in the back is going to die thanks to the Panther Force body block. Blitz, man. Blitz. There we go. Is this... Oh, uh, too late. He didn't blitz fast enough. And you bounce. Oh, wait. Did he miss? Hold on. Panther, uh, again, doesn't want to be AT grenaded or piotted more, so uh, pulled back. Alas, S-85 was not put down, so overall that was absolutely a Soviet win because one S-85 with a Tiger Ace and a Panzer IV. Yeah. Mattresses continue to light up the front. Uh, Population-wise, OD lost quite a number of his forces, and he is down to, oh, both of these guys are down to, like, what, mid-60s? Probably upper 60s, uh, 25, 20, oh, yeah, upper 60s, I would say. And then we got these guys. Uh, yeah, I could say upper 60s on average for the Axis. And then you got one amazing Soviet player with a huge army, and then the rest are kind of just mid. The rest are, if you well, remove him, you kind of like, eh, down to, wait, did he forget about the church? Did the Churchill live chat? No, he didn't, okay. You forgot about the Churchill in that equation. Mushka, that's fair. You add in the Churchill, and it still doesn't really add up. Because Churchill's uh, not as expensive as a Tiger Ace. A Tiger Ace, for reference, let's uh, do the math, is 250. And the Panzer IV is, uh, I believe that was a 120. So, this is 130 and 160. So, yeah, it's a wee bit short. Lots of infantry pushing on in. Again, a lot of close range units, but... These guys have a uh, hell of a kill count. 39 kills for the Volks Grandiers. T-34, the Vet 3-1. Might get put down. That would be unfortunate. Absolutely unfortunate. Oh, there it goes. And S-25 about to go down. Oh, one last shot. And the Vet 3 T-34 puts down the Vet 5 Volk Squad. He's like, listen, you're taking me down. But I'm taking one of you with me. And by God, he did. And, yeah. Any, whoa, that's MG42. There we go. Now this assault officer has a better weapon on him. That could maybe do something. All right. Germans did launch a successful counterattack in that. I will, I will just say, that was pretty good, right? They knocked out a number of allied units. Hopefully this continues for them. And they're able to keep momentum going to just break the enemy lines. Lots of artillery hitting the front. Just 
absolutely thrashing. All right, Churchill driving the enemy away. We're for hitting the front. Uh, again, getting some nice long shots in. Vet 2 does not have the Vet 3 range bonus yet. Although they're still in the upper teens. They did manage to knock out a lot of the support equipment. And being so low on health, one good already shot and they're gone. Which this player, Uncle, does have artillery with 45 kills. Nothing to see. Actually, hold on. He, he might kill this S-85 if this S guy doesn't run, like, right now. Will one final shot kill the SU-85? No, it absolutely does not. But it was still cool to imagine. Uh, one ML-20 trying to do its best. Buddy, you know what? You're giving it your all. That's all I can say. You're, you're, you're trying. I Hopefully you get a decent kill count. But yeah, the LAFH has you beat by like a couple miles. In mid, again, there's... There, there's some guy right now being like, oh my god. Gray shot, there's two tiger aces. Oh my god. Oh my god, there's a king tiger. Gray shot, do you see this? Axe is absolutely gonna win this game. Oh my god. Gray shot, do you not see all the armor? Do you, do, do you not see all this armor? It's so amazing. It's like, yes, I see that. But also, you have uh, all the. You have SU 85s uh, in multiple fronts. Plenty of AT and plenty of units that can snare. Plus, you have this bad boy, which can absolutely devastate all the armor. So, I cannot wait for the axes to throw them away. I will glad to, I will, look, if I'm proven wrong, I'm proven wrong. But, it's, it's, yeah. Partisan trying to get behind the lines. They might actually, hold on, MG looking the wrong way. They, oh wait, is the MG support crew going to be better than a Partisan squad? At least he's getting the upgrade. So, at the very least, should be able to start engaging with his PPS H's and mowing the unit down. So, but he's going to run here, right? Like he's just going to run back to, yeah. Wow, I, I could have seen that actually going better if he just moved a little closer. Yeah, you should have ran with him with those weapons. All right. Anyway, uh, Pioneer Squad uh, had taken heavy hits. Still has an MG42. I completely forgot about that. Those Piat squads, by God, they've done quite a bit of work. Um, Salt Grand's trying to push the left. Uh, meets MG and MG Bunker. So, yeah, it's immediately driven away. Allowing the Soviets to push on up and hopefully grab some free territory. Meanwhile, Double SW-85s are moving in against multiple Tigers. Piat's as well firing. Werfer hits. Uh, was that a negative impact? Uh, no, sir. It was a complete miss. I think we killed one man, but that was part of a mortar team we weren't aiming for. Multiple engineers to heal the armor and also sweep for mines. T-34 on standby for a little bit of a ramming action. That way, they, of course, can get a bunch of stuff. If he gets in there, he might success... Wait, hold on. He just called it in. Do you have recon? I guess they have enough units on the front. That's fine, especially if the SV-5s can see it. Oh, my God. Yellow. The, the other Axis guys are shouting, Move your tiger! Uh, he's trying to blitz away, so that was a good action to get the hell out of dodge. And while he did take a number of hits, uh, he will escape. One SU-85 will not. So great counterattack with the pack. But allies will take back mid, continuing to put the pressure on the Axis down to about 220 points. That's the lead right now. That is not a great, great position to be in. Half-track opening fire along with the uh, Oswind. Almost said Riverwind. Oswind on the conscript. Oh, decrewed Panther. Interesting. What will we see there? Not that conscript because he got put down quite quickly. And looks like they also killed that. But still. Um, let's see. We still have not taken this territory back. Ah, I see the Partisan still there. Nice. MG still guarding that left-hand territory. Panther is just slowly moving back. Do you have repairs? You do. Okay, at least he has a repair function active. Left-hand side, T-34 is just, yeah, squatting away the assault grenadiers because, again, they can't really do much. Wait. Oh, okay. I was like, Chad, I'm not a math guy, but that's uh, three squads together, right? Nope, nope, nope. That Two of them will go this way, two here. Okay. Oh, my God. How many times do I have to teach you this lesson, old man? Uh, now that he has the Volk squad there, you're not going to win the fight. You're just not. 
He will keep reinforcing. You will keep dying. Katusha is at least firing there, so maybe he gets a lucky kill on the MG, but again, so close he can recruit it. All right. Allies are just now need to reinforce. Do you have a position here to reinforce? I mean, this, yes. Maybe heal the mattresses that are one shot away from dying. That would probably be a good idea. Artillery hitting the front, but uh, heavy mortar pulls off. Panther trying to reposition itself. Werfer is firing on the front. Okay. Bet three. Can we kill it with the Werfer? Katusha returning fire. Creeping barrage? Or just general shots? General shots, but pretty damn close to hitting it. All right, up oh, plane immediately goes down. It's like, guys, I'm here! It immediately dies. All right, tie graces are moving back up. Uh, the British are prepped for you, and so are the Soviets. So I'm very curious to see what they do with those tie graces. Just hitting them, oh my god, there's so many rockets, but German infantry just kind of ran through. How many kills do you guys have? Man, I was talking shit on the assault grenadiers, but man, you guys have not done anything. Mattress, vet two, four kills. Incredible. Incredible. Alright. Panzer Gladiator is pulling back. Uh, yeah. Not really much came from Uncle's attack. I mean, he has a decent army, just. Yeah, just nothing really came of it. S25, very close. Hold on. Can we maybe finish that off? Or at the very least, just kill the Zis gun? Oh, they did kill it. Cool. Hell of a shot. Where the hell did that come from? I actually don't know where that shot came from. Maybe the Tiger Ace? Well, uh, this gun make sure the Axis couldn't grab that. I hate Artie Spammers. Again, as shown on the left-hand side, you can dive the Caddies. Just have sweepers. Because right now, Red's entire function on this side has been mines. Well, hold on. Does he actually have... Hold on, let me check. He only has two mines. Never mind. Never mind. He has not built as many mines as I thought. T-34 is engaging Panthers. Um, hold on. Did he just use AT Overwatch? I would ram. He did not ram. A little too far to ram. Oh my god. That's unfortunate. It's like... Uh, Panther manages to escape. Hell of a shot with the SUD5. I like the teamwork that Oliveira is at least bringing in with Hold the Line. At least the T34, the T34 survived, right? Also, buddy, you have 14 seconds more of artillery, so, uh, yeah. Get run. Meanwhile, Yellow. At least uh, Yellow's Tiger Race, aka OD. Managed to at least push into mid. Artillery is hitting the right. Panther slowly pulling back. Katusha might, if Katusha does a good penetrating shot, no, it looks like he's fine. He's close, though. Tiger Ace drives him away. This gun lights him up. MG as well, holding the front. Panther pulls away. Another Panther moving in. S-55 pushing back the uh, Tiger. All right. Panzer Grenadiers, uh, sorry, Panzer Grenadiers, Jesus. Assault Grenadiers moving on in to back up the Panther. Again, big push on the right for the T-34. Panther once again somehow survives. Again, front armor, save you. And T-34 is not exactly a high pen. Uh, wait, wig dude left? Why? I mean, to be fair, maybe the AI can keep more than a couple units alive. I will say that. Because, yeah, Wingdu has not exactly had the biggest army on the field. I mean, sure, he had the king earlier, but I'm assuming that was like, all right, I lost my king tiger, I'm done. Which, if he did do that, that is so ridiculously dumb. But, whatever. Uh, also, Axe is not exactly in the best situation right now. Uh, to be 100% frank, 
But again, if green can fo oh my god, look at all the rockets. There's so many. But if green can re- What the fu- Why is everyone shooting all the rockets? Why? What is happening? Everyone's like, guys, there's so much uh, infantry in mid. Okay. 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 There's nothing there, guys. There's literally nothing there to fire. Don't load everything in. It's like Predator. They're firing all their shots into the wilderness and they're hitting nothing. Absolutely nothing. Panther opening fire. Again, Panther's trying to make some headway. Which... I get it. Yellow needs to go that way. Blue in mid. Which looks like he might be able to kill this S-85 if he's lucky. Come on, Panther. No gun. That's a big win. And then the, kill this and that. There goes forward retreat. The guard troops. Oh my god, he's so close. Come on. Get the shot. Finish him off. Charging to make sure he gets the kill so he leaves, leaves the Katushas alive. I think he just did that. I want every rocket on that point. Well, it's it pretty much. Alright, units are healing. Tiger Ace at least hitting. The guards might be able to kill it. Very close to killing it. 22 kills, not bad, and a spearhead on, so not, not too shabby. On the right, again, it's green, aka Uncle, having to save this front. Uh, Mako, though, yeah, doesn't exactly have too much, so if he's... I mean, to be fair, Uncle doesn't have too much, but if he could just set a couple infantry, anti-infantry units, he could easily mop this up. None of these guys are great against, okay, maybe Partisans, but he doesn't exactly have any armor backing this whole fighting force up. Like, all he has is Katushas, which are fine, but this is where, like, a dive by a, by a German player would really come in handy. Or, yeah, Oswin comes on in. Panzer Grenadier is just cleaning house against the weaker partisan engineer forces. Um, Left-hand side, more rockets against the engineers. T-34s, uh, along with the SU-85, are trying to move in. They do pen. Panther, I feel like there's a better target than the MG. I'm just pointing out there. There's a couple armored units they feel like you should focus on. Alright. Well, um, Axis, you're down to under 100 points, and you're down a player. So you really, really need to, like, recover this. Also, that Panzergrandier squad, did he retreat it? He did. I would have kept it on the front, and I, yeah, just heal. Just saying. Sturm squad with the Shrek is not what I would call an anti- You're about to explode, aren't you? Well, uh, he tried. Good job, AI. You, 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 I'll give you that. You, you tried. Assault Grenadiers again moving in. The fact there's been no MGs or anything has just been astonishing. Both mattresses are dead. Um, the, the building here is gone. I, you know what? Screw it. Just try to grab one. Why not? Just grab both of them and try to bring them back to base. But great shot, there's an MG. I know, just just make that allies angry, all right? Or kill them, I don't know. Something, anything. You need you need to do something, because right now, uh, you can, if you bunch up armor, anti-tank overwatch is gonna kill you, and anything you can, guys can do to try to save yourselves. All right, more assault grand here, throwing grenades, at least kill that mortar. Again, barrage hitting this whole sector. S-85 uh, hitting the guard forces. Hold on. Oh, both caddies went down thanks to the pan- Wait, did they really both die? I'm sorry, Mako. Mako, what happened? Uncle just coming in with the uh, upswing here. Clearing the territory and killing the Katushas. Yeah, that's why when you fire, you move back or you make sure you have something to protect it in case of something like that dives. S-85 hits the panther. Firefly and Churchill moving on in. On the left-hand side, uh, Allied Armor just cleaning house against the Panther on the left. Now he's retreating. All right. T-34 
backing on up. Uh, S25, maybe he pushed up a little too much? I get what he's trying to do, but Panther can still do damage. T-34 is at least helping. Uh, this other Panther's not healing. So, Panther, you scared and now you need to run. Why is it so zoomed out? Uh, because I have the ability to zoom out. It's great for arty shots and whatnot. Also great to show that, yeah. Scaring him away, great, great initial impression, but uh, you should have retreated or got additional support. Uh, yeah, that was not the best move to do. Speaking of dives, Tiger Ace moves in, kills this 5 it looks like. Uh, Mattress pulls back. It looks like the allies have thoroughly been smashed in mid, but the problem is the Axis need to hold this. Um, it's not mod, I just activated dev mode. I can do that for replays, because I'm offline. But yeah, no, it's one of those things where it's like, okay, that's great. Axis, you, wait, oh, he's moving up the Werfers, hold on. Hold up, hold on, hold on a second. Werfers firing. Are they just gonna murder this LFH? Oh, I'm sorry, LFH, 120. I mean, the FG also is dying, oh god. Mattress just got recruited only to die. Hell of a barrage, great job right there. Something also just perished. Is that Caddy? I don't know what hit, but something just came down and blew up something. Whatever the case may be, uh, allies, even against an AI, are just kind of falling apart a little bit. Again, one of those things where, uh, you know, Axis, I was making fun of you for your big heavy tanks and whatnot, but that actually might save you right now. If you guys can keep just wearing down the allied armor. S-25 pulls back. Panther, can you go for the, the, the finishing blow? Just one shot. Got it. All right. Now, uh, get out of there before the Firefly kills you with the mattress. you also been marked. Oh, no. Oh, no. Tiger. Tiger, he needs your help. Pack gun, help him. Or is this gun? I mean, good job. You're about to kill the cash. But seriously, help this man. Direct shot. Oh, he's going to do a... Oh, both equipment's down thanks to the direct strike. Nice. Firefly's moving in. Okay. Uncle, you've survived a number of attempts. You're not surviving that one. And now with the uh, other player moving on in with his partisan forces, because it's pretty much all partisans at this point. Uh, yeah. Uncle has uh, his work cut out for him. Left-hand side, we have... Uh, OD trying to do his best, but Red still has a solid army, and no matter how many workers you fire at him... Oh, wait, hold on. He kills the engineers. I'll... I'll... All right, nice. Oh, no, they all they all lived. Um, I'll say if you wiped a few squads then, that would be good, but alas, they they did not. Uh, at the very least, Blue is holding in mid, but now the Soviets are coming in to assist with the Churchill and the Fireflies, and uh, there's no pack support. So, uh, yeah, that's uh, not a good sign. When there's a line of tank destroyers and you have a soul tiger, that, oh, there's the rockets. Say goodbye, tiger. Say goodbye. This is where a pack gun would have really come in handy. I know he had one. I know it died, but still. That way at least he could have uh, hit the tank destroyers with it. Churchill doing what he does best. Taking the hits, so that way the tank destroyers can dish out the damage, and we're about to see both tank destroyers. Oh, sorry, both Tiger Aces die, aren't we? No, he actually will live. That three Tiger lives. It's funny that Tiger Ace comes out not an Ace, but still. Um, Game Bond Throne, Assault Grenadiers, and Pants Grenadiers being surprised. Oh, wait, mate, no? Will he actually get out? Yeah, yeah, yeah they. Okay. They do. So Officer holds on to the point. Uh, victory points are still being held on the left. With a Kubel taking the territory. Sure. Uh, Panther is pushing in to kill the SWD-5s. Red losing quite a bit of his armor. Uh, but Panther needs to go forward, not back, thanks to the AT Overwatch. Pretty much stopping any sort of retreat from occurring. Uh, unfortunately, the other T-34 can still dish out damage. Panther, though, can assist. Kill the Vet-3-1 and... Wait, why? You, I mean, it's 16 kills, sure, but that's the thing that's... Okay. I mean, not bad. Oh, no. Another Panther coming on in. Come on, Blue. Blue. Oh, no. 
All right, there we go. All right, kills the panther, but he di he's gonna die too, isn't he? Yeah, there he goes. All right, blue goes down thanks to the fireflies. Here comes the massive piot. Just one battle after another. Alas, it's unfortunately I think the axes have pretty much expelled all the reserves. Um, blue has a panther out. OD has his tiger ace out, but you know it needs heals. Uh, Uncle has a panther development and a panzer four along with his artillery. And what the fuck? AI actually got a king tiger. Okay. Um, competent AI. That's rare. I mean, to be fair, if it engages the, the giant AT line, it's not going to do much. But still, it's better than uh, Koopal. I didn't mean for you to appear when I said it. I was just making a comparison. Anyway. Massive amount. All the artillery. All the artillery is in the sector right now. Again, uh, Partisan's just clearing up the right-hand side. Tank Destroyer swarming on in along with T-34s. Um, Oswind, uh, you need some more coverage because there's a lot of pain coming your way. Lots. Oh, he hit the mine. He hit the teller. Uh, and that killed the Oswind, I think. Oh, SW-5 goes down. Hold on. Panther kills a Vet-3 T-34. Hold on. Are we seeing the uh, an actual comeback from the Axis? Like, every time the Allies are like, guys, it's about to and immediately just get pushed right back down. Why don't I have an AI King Tiger when my teammates drop? Because, uh, unfortunately, you're not as cool as this guy. I actually have no idea. I truly don't. I will say, good job on Yellow for decapping the territory. If you can grab it, that will hopefully shorten the lead. AT Overwatch is pushing back the Panther, but does not kill it. Still manages to live. And that's the last AT Overwatch for quite some time. So, at least it'll be a few minutes. Firefly is bouncing off the King. King returning fire. Oh, wait. King's still on the AT Overwatch. Please, no. King, be good. Please. Please, I'm begging you. King, please. Please. Churchill backing up. Tiger Ace trying to engage. We have the Kubel cutting off territory. Ah. What do I even say? Uh, left hand side's being taken back by the Allies. Middle, Pioneer with the MG42. Ladies and gentlemen, the MVP right now. It's so stupid, it's actually working. Now, again, even though the Axes have managed to actually do a decent counterattack somehow, some way, um, the, the Fireflies are the biggest problem for them. All right, Fireflies push back the uh, Tiger. Again, that's the new Tiger Ace. Vet 3 Tiger Ace is on the front. Again, has to be your head so we can at least see a bit farther. Maybe that will help the, uh, the King Tiger out a little bit. Left-hand side, Soviet forces are taking back. Again, overall for the Allies, we're looking at what? Upper 50s? I would say probably low 60s, but barely. Um... Axis somehow averaging just for the non AI guys, they are averaging like low 80s. But then we bring in the uh, AI, and then it kind of gets dropped down to like I don't know, uh, probably like mid uh, mid to low 70s, probably lower 70s. But still, that's way better. Wait, hold on. Well, there goes the ti King Tiger, so it'll be upper 60s now. Again, that tank destroyer line is no joke. Panzer Grenadier though, coming on in. Can we get a kill zone uh, with the Shreks and everything? Hold on. T-34 diving. Kill it. Hurry. Shrek strike comes on in. T-34 goes down. Vet 3. All the tank destroyers are running. There's no infantry support. This is where Panzer Shrek... Look, I hate to say it, but a Panzer Shrek blob might actually be pretty nice right about now. Artillery hang the uh, S285 on the backup. Artillery is hanging this whole area from the LFHs. Panther, do not engage. This is a bad idea. 
I did say it was a bad idea. If only I, he could have heard me uh, through time. Like Vegeta screaming with trunks and uh, bridged. But anyway, Shrek team at least moving on up. Firefly is about to meet a rude awakening if uh, he actually lands a shot. Come on, Panzergrad ears. You're not AI. Oh, you're just going to keep running. Okay, whatever. Left hand side, yellow is trying to make some moves, but the half track. Wait, is that Shrek's? No, he doesn't have a quad mount. So, what is suppressing him? Oh, the bunker! That's annoying. Bunker is suppressing him. And Dushka gets the other unit. But, the ally, uh, sorry, the axes have right, they have mid, and the Kubel is actually managing to kill the partisan units in there. The Mako has two units. AI has more units than the goddamn human player. All right, what does my world come to? Hello, darkness, my old friend. I'm just falling apart again. And somehow the allies are losing this and losing their entire front line again. Oh my God. Red still has something, but two Tiger Aces is gonna pretty much swat any attack that just from him alone, if done correctly. He missed though, maybe not. Werfer gets put down. Uh, okay, S85. I don't know how the hell you hit that, but sure, good shot. Uh, Tiger Ace is gonna kill you. All right, never mind. I guess Tiger Ace won't kill you. I love being wrong. It, it's just part of my daily actions. Anyway, uh, great job because again, uh, AT snare is weak enough. He's been marked. So if they can focus. Tiger Ace goes down. Now, again, Axis could also focus on him. And there goes the Firefly and Assist Gun. And Panther as well. Wait, hold on. S-85 coming on in along with the T-34. Best to back up in that engagement. Just hold mid. Don't push up. This is a bad idea. Uh, your gun is facing the wrong way. Nice ram against the Tiger. I believe... No, he doesn't have enough. But he stuns it. Firefly still sniping from afar. S-285 as well sniping. They have them in literally two different angles from tank destroyer perspective. T-34 flanking blue. Uncle has one panther. Uh, we have no additional armor. Oh wait, one panther just got deployed that can come in. But no AT or anything to help this man. T-34 might actually kill this panther. Which would pretty much seal the deal because right now on the right you have two t-34s and a bunch of partisans but you have nothing to stop the t-34s because all the armor got moved over to the left so this is where they try to get a little too aggressive and now they have no reserves and now pretty much the entire line is falling apart panzer 4 trying to hold back the t-34s but it's just not working uh, we have a Panzer II in the back and a Puma. AI, yeah, the King Tiger, you did some good, decent work, and then everything fell apart. Uh, T-34 is decrewed, and you have a Shrek team. But, again, victory point-wise, you don't have very much time at all. So, I, I, I don't know. I don't know how long they're going to last. Although, Shrek team can maybe kill this Firefly if he gets lucky. Again, Axis were close. If they had a decent, you know, uh, player in that didn't drop, or just was decent before he dropped, then they probably could have won this. But alas, they just ran out of reserves. Although they're trying to get some additional armor, which would be hilarious. But oh my God, AI! I love it, AI guys. We could save the game, or we could repair this MG. Competent AI, this is not. Alrighty. Anyway, uh, it did seem like actually the Germans were counterattacking in most fronts, so that's unfortunate. Even the goddamn pioneer with an MG42 is moving in. Alas. Uh, unfortunately, AI popped in and uh, the Axis started doing very well, but it was just they did not have enough time. But uh, let's double check the CD after action report to see how things fared across the different fronts. Uh, right now, we got ourselves uh, the Axis with top damage going to OD. Uh, also with 294 kills, the uncle. 
On the Allied side, 90,000 da damage to Oliveira, with also top kills going to him. Uh, I believe, I could be wrong here, but I believe Mako submitted this, uh, based on the name I had. Uh, that's who I had, at the very least, that submitted it. Uh, so, unless I'm mistaken in this front... Uh, but yeah, I think you did okay. Uh, again, I think losing all your men is not the greatest idea, but you you were a constant nuisance, so I'll give you that with uh, grabbing territory. All right, Uncle was his Panthers, got about 20k. Uh, Wingdu, uh, his Volk squads were fine. Again, uh, Tiger Ace, again, did relatively good, but again, the tank destroyers, without a pack support or other AT, it was just being focused on and just merely put down when, when given the option. Same thing with this guy's Tiger Ace. Again, I'll give the other gentleman a better credit for his Tiger Ace, but with more kills. But still, same situation. Probably additional AT defense protecting it would have been better. Lots of mattresses. You did not... Like, the mattresses were not great, Moon. I had to break it. Fireflies were solid. Great job with the tank destroyers. But the mattresses did nothing. They were not good at all. They were just being countered hard by Artie. S85s did fine by Mako, but again, Mako, a lot of partisans. I, I feel like the a lot of good efficiency here, not so much with the partisans. All right, so moving on to Oliveira, 39k with the S85s. Again, solid stuff. Definitely the better one, uh, uh, I think, be the best one from all the S85s. Caddy also did pretty well, too. Again, I'll give credit where credit's due there. T34s by Hold the Line, they dove. They may not necessarily have always gotten the kills, but as you can tell, they definitely dished out damage. And, uh, yeah, call, we're a nuisance for the Germans to constantly deal with. But, yeah, solid game. What do you guys think? Leave your comments down below. This has been GrayShot17, and I'll see you guys next time. Hello, everyone. This is GrayShot17. And before y'all go, let me give a special shout-out to Patreon supporters. Joey G240, Malam, Big Cooch, Afaria, Ace, Pyroshark, Tony B 95 Epic Pleb, Thank you all for your incredible support and in helping me grow my channel and support my channel and everything I do. Thank you, and to the rest of you, thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.